I believe everyone in this state uh, who has a mental health problem should have access to mental health services. We've done a lot in the last couple of years. We're one of the leading states when it comes to mental health parity for insurance purposes. It's really not happened anywhere else in the country. We took a lesson from the Fortune 500s who found if you look at the human as a whole, the health body and the health mind, you will get so much more from the person and they will be so much happier. We found ourselves in a neglected system when I came into office. And we also found ourselves getting federal cuts, $60 million that first year, federal cuts for mental health in Washington State. I have increased funding for mental health by 60%, almost 60%, 56% since I came into office. Now it's time for us to ask, is the structure right? Is the structure really meeting the needs of the public at large? We've got something new coming in here to Pierce County. And that's a private entity coming in to replace the old RSN. This will be an experiment as to whether that new way of doing business really meets the needs. I think it's good for us to do that. We've got to look at new alternatives. I'm excited at this opportunity. We've also got to look at the standard. The standard of, is this person a danger to self or others for involuntary treatment? And that question came through loud and clear with the tragedy that happened in Skagit County. So Dan Satterberg, the King County prosecutor, uh, and we're working with him, has a task force looking at the standard and asking, is that standard wrong? Does it need to be changed? Is it too high so that our communities are not being able to get the needs uh, met that they want? If we don't treat people with mental health, they will get that treatment. They'll end up incarcerated incarcerated at the expense of community safety. It's a lesson that we can't afford to learn. Every single individual in this state deserves to understand they're safe in their community. And those who need mental health services need to have access to it. So I'm excited about the project here, but I'm also excited, as I said, about hopefully Dan Satterberg putting his arms around this standard and asking. So we're looking at the standard, and we're also looking at the structure and asking, is there a new way of doing business? Now that we've invested 56% greater money than what was there when I came into office.